I'm here with Craig Moss from Social Accountability International at the Ethical Sourcing Forum in New York City, hosted by Intertech. Um, Craig, can you tell us about the day here and what you experienced and learned? Um, the Ethical Sourcing Forum has been a great event again this year. They do a fantastic job putting this thing on. And, uh, you know, you meet a lot of people that you see maybe on and off throughout the year. You learn a lot about new trends that are happening. Uh, today a lot was about supply chain management and things that people are doing to try to improve it and measure it and report it. Great. You mentioned the trends that you learned about. Could you give me a couple examples? Yeah, there was some uh, discussion about new forms of collaboration among, among initiatives. Uh, one of the things that we focused on today is I gave a presentation on social fingerprint. What's that? Um, it's a system of ratings and training designed to help companies measure and improve their performance for social compliance. Okay, so if a company came in having not really done anything consciously yet, could they still use the tool? Yeah, absolutely. We actually have two sets. We have one that is for uh, brands or retailers that would help them to measure where they are and what they need to do to improve in managing social compliance in their supply chain. And then we have another one for suppliers, and that's supplier supply chain man uh, sorry, the supplier social fingerprint looks inside a company at what do they do to manage social compliance and then how can they improve it. Is this for US-based companies? Um, we've been doing it a lot around the world and so far typically the brands or retailers doing it are in the US or Europe and the suppliers involved tend to be located in the big supply countries like China or India. Okay, and how does this fit in with the other work that you do? Well, Social Accountability International is best known for our uh, SA-1000 uh, standard and certification system. And we do a lot of auditor training. We do a lot of training of suppliers on how to improve social compliance. And this is like a new area for us that we launched about six or eight months ago. And it's had a lot of uh, great re receptivity around the world. Okay, so if a company wanted to learn more about your tool or get involved, where should they go? Um, they can go to our, the SAI website, which is sa-intl.org, or we have a new social fingerprint website, and here's our Beautiful. logo for social fingerprint, <laughs> and that's socialfingerprint.org. Okay, and what will they find at that site? Um, they'll find information on the program. There's a video there that uh, gives them a tour and an introduction to the program. And then if they want, they can proceed right ahead and, and uh, sign up, get the rating, and then they go in and take a course that also gives them 90 improvement tips, things that they can do right away to get started on improving uh, their performance. Okay, great. And then just one final question. If you had to tell a company that went to that site and was about to look at these rules for improvement or guidelines for improvement, what do you think, what would be the first thing that you would tell any company to look at? I think the first thing to look at is you need to look at management systems as a whole, but we break it down into real specific things and try to make it not so vague. Okay. And then you want to look at system development and implementation. It's not good enough just to say I have a system on paper. It's all about implementation. Okay, great. Thank you very much and hope to see you tomorrow for day two. I'll be back. This event's been great and I enjoy it every year. All right, good night. Thank you.